What is up guys, welcome back to Dan's Reviews, and today I'm back for another Walking Dead video for today. This one is going to be doing a awesome, awesome video that, uh, you know, I got suggested by a few people, and a few people wanted me to give my thoughts on will the Whispers be, in my opinion, will they be the scariest and most um, you know, will they be the best villains Walking Dead will ever have? So, I'm gonna give my thoughts on that. Well, you know, are they gonna be the scariest, the best, and overall, uh, you know, are they gonna be the best set of villains we've ever seen for Walking Dead? So, uh, you know, so far at least. So, because obviously we could get tons in the future, but, um... Right now with The Walking Dead Season 9, I'm really happy with what they did with the mid-season premiere where they didn't give too many Whisper stuff away. They're kind of, they're, they're going to they're gonna show more throughout this second half, but they didn't kind of cram all of the uh, information that, you know, we know about the Whispers in the mid-season premiere. They're going to kind of tell us slowly throughout the next few episodes what they're all about, how many of them are there, uh, who's the leader, who's second in command. Some comic readers already know this kind of stuff, of course, but for the TV series, they're making people come back every week and we can find out a little bit more information about the whispers since they are such an exciting group and such a such a questionable group as well for uh, non-comic readers so um I am going to explain a little bit in the, uh, you know, some stuff from the comic book series of The Walking Dead. So that is going to be in this video as well. So basically Alpha, just getting right into this video now. So uh, basically Alpha is the leader of the Whispers, the woman at the end who says trail ends here to Alden and Luke. Now, a lot of people know this, but um, for non-comic readers, basically she is the leader of the Whispers, the people that wear the zombie masks. And um, she is, you know, she, she basically has a daughter uh, who is... Is the person that they captured in um, the episode nine episode, the ep you know the 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 girl in the jail cell that Daryl and the others are trying to get information out of. Her name is Lydia, of course. You guys all know that. Um, but people that don't read the comics, that is Alpha's daughter. So the woman at the end that pointed the shotgun, the person that is locked up in the cell, that's her daughter. So, um, basically, Alpha captures Alden and Luke at the end, and in the comic book series, I'm not going to get into too much stuff here, but uh, she, she, she wants her daughter back, basically. So, um, you know, we see some stuff go through here. I'm going to try to dance around spoilers a little bit, but um, there's a reason why she captured Alden and Luke. So, yeah, that's, that's what it is. So, we get to see that, of course. Now, she does have quite a few whispers, and we don't know if the TV series version um how many whispers she does have uh but of course as we know her you know second in command her you know her the 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 fighter of the group i would say the one that um you know, her, her Daryl, her, you know, her uh, second in command is a guy named Beta, which is the one who tackles Daryl in the preview for this second half. Uh, you know, kind of picks Daryl up or whatever and throws him on a wall or whatever. Um, so, you know, slams him on the wall or whatever. So, uh, that's Beta, basically, the guy with the huge beard and, uh, you know, he's quite, he's quite big and stuff. And basically in the comics, he is, you know, the, you know, I would say the big fighter of the Whispers. Alpha's the leader, but he is the big fighter. Um, and he's the one that kind of, uh, you know, leads the army, leads the group or whatever. Um, if Alpha is, you know, not leading the group at that time, he's like the second in command, basically. So they look to him. If it wasn't for Alpha, they would all look at uh, Beta, pretty much. So, um, you know, they're, they're a big group, basically. And for now, for non-comic readers, I mean, we're going to have to see how they adapt them to the TV series. But, um... It looks like it's going to be pretty uh, pretty similar. Um, and from what I'm seeing from certain scenes, and I also did watch the opening minutes for episode 10, it looks like we're going to get to see a, a flashback of uh, Alpha and Lydia during the outbreak, um, which is going to be really cool to see. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm really going to like that a lot. Probably just the opening minutes is probably all it is. It's probably just the opening scene. Um, but, you know, basically, we're going to get to learn uh, what the Whispers are about, what Alpha's about, how she came, became... Uh, who she is, why she is this way, um, it looks like. And it looks like they're really going to go into the backstory of the Whispers. Because in the comics, we didn't really get that. Angela Kang, she wants to go into that a little bit more and make the version of the Whispers in the show better than the comic book series version. And it looks like they're already doing that already. I mean, I already like the Whispers more in the show than the comic because... For a comic book series 
they're not, you know, they're, they're not a group for a comic. They're more of a group for a TV series to make it scary, to add in that scary music, to really make people, you know, you know, really be, you know, scared when they're watching the TV, you know, like, oh my God, that's a whisper. Oh my God, you know. So, um, I really think the whispers in the TV series, they are going to be quite a bit better. I think they already are. And that's a little bit of a summary of who they are if you don't read the comics, uh, just previous. So, um, in terms of the group itself, will they be the, you know, scariest group, the, the, the most fearsome group in the series i'm gonna say for this point in time um i think they are to be honest because negan and the saviors they are pretty fearsome and negan is the the best villain just himself but there's a lot of saviors that i don't like i don't like laura i don't like um you know certain ones like uh you know regina or, you know, uh, you know, something, just anything else like that. I, I, they're, they're, you know, Jared, uh, you know, there's a lot of saviors I don't like. A lot of the saviors I don't like. There's only a few I do care about. I only care about, like, Negan. I like Simon. I like Dwight. But aside from that, I could care less about the rest, to be honest. So, um... That's really just my opinion on the situation, though. So, I mean, that's why the saviors are not my favorites, because there are a lot of saviors I don't like. Uh, I like Negan, I like Simon, I like Dwight, but even Dwight's not really a savior, not really. So, um, at first a little bit, but, you know, you see where I'm going with this. And Woodbury, Governor, they're not that much of a threat compared to Negan and the saviors. The, the whispers, you can't tell if they're a zombie or a human. And also, there's not any whispers I hate, you know, you know, Alpha I like, um, Lydia I'm really starting to like in the TV series version as well, and Beta, I mean, he's awesome. So, uh, we, now again, we haven't seen Beta in the TV series yet, it looks like he'll probably show up this week, maybe, if not this week, the week after, um, but based on the comic book version, and since the characters are going to be quite similar to the comic book version, I would say that the Whispers are my favorite group of villains and the most fearsome group ever. Yes, I do think so. So, uh, write your comments, though, in the comment section below. They're quite dangerous, you gotta admit. And, uh, you know, we're gonna have to see what they do with them for the TV series, but I cannot wait to see how they handle them. And they're already handling them uh, better than the comics, I think. So, anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you're new and you just see this video and you're like, hey, I like, the, I like this video, I like this channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button at the bottom left. It really helped me out. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. And, of course, uh, Walking Dead is on all week, you know, of course, uh, for the next, you know, what, seven weeks. So, we're going to be doing tons of Walking Dead videos. So, thank you guys so much for watching. And, of course, we're just going to keep powering through here this week with tons of Walking Dead videos. So, thank you guys for watching. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.